this question actually goes back to the first one, uh, which is uh, whether or not the UID database is a desirable database at all. I do think that we, uh, the Indian economy, the Indian nation states role in the global economy has reached a point where uh, the conventional identification systems are not quite working anymore. We do need something better than that. The question is how do we leap from the recognition of some kind of a new need to a design that has not emerged from uh, struggles and that has not emerged uh, through people fighting over what is the best way to do it. What we have in the UID I think is a, a system that comes from uh, people who have not actually been steeped in how governments function, how governments collect data, so on and so forth, which is why a tremendous optimism at the beginning that this will lead to uh, lesser corruption, the optimism about how this is actually going to result in uh, unique identities being given to each person, how a perfect system is going to emerge. All of that optimism comes from the fact that people don't know about how governments at the ground level actually gather up data about people and places. So given all of that, I think there are uh, huge problems with, uh, <coughs> with the way the scheme will work um, because it's, it's just not rooted in, in the ethos of government uh, functioning at this point in time.